Now we turn now to yet another tragic mass shooting, the third in just two days, this one in Philadelphia. Five people are dead and two others injured after a gunman opened fire in a residential neighborhood. NBC's George Solis is in Philadelphia with more. This morning, yet another community in America reeling from a mass shooting after a gunman opened fire in Philadelphia, shooting seven people, killing five, and injuring two children. All right, all units use caution. We got somebody with a long gun. Police say the suspect was armed with an AR-15 style rifle and a handgun, carrying a police scanner and wearing a bulletproof vest. The suspect still firing as police were at the scene. As they were scooping up the victims and preparing them uh, for transport to the hospital, uh, they also heard multiple gunshots up the street. Officers chasing down the suspect finally cornering him in an alley. He was taken into custody uh, without further incident. Investigators say they currently do not have a motive in the shootings and do not know if the suspect is connected to any of the victims. And Police also point, taking a second person into shot. custody. We have another person that we believe acquired a gun somehow, don't know how, and picked up the gun and returned fire in the direction of the shooter that we have in custody. This incident comes just one day after two other mass shootings in Baltimore, where a community block party descended into chaos as gunfire erupted, killing two and injuring more than two dozen others. And in Wichita, Kansas, nine people shot and wounded at a nightclub. Back in Philadelphia, the mayor saying he's horrified by the shootings, writing, my heart is with the loved ones and families of everyone involved, and I send my prayers to the victims.